And back to our guest, Mr. Andresen, isn't it your job to find the right people for the right job? Yeah, sure. But um, skilled workers from abroad are a perfect addition. Mm -hmm. And perfect addition to what? I mean, uh, what do we have here in Germany? We have a we have a rising demand for skilled workers for mm. years now, right now. And that leads somehow maybe to the schizophrenic situation of having a great demand for skilled workers and a high level of structural long-term unemployed at the same time. Where is this divided labor market come from? Is, is it because of the education system here in Germany? Well, first of all, um, our information and knowledge society develops rapidly. Mm -hmm. And um, the gap on the labor market regarding to qualifications and skills is even widening. Mm -hmm. and, and therefore, people um, with low skills even have more problems to find a job in Germany. And with that gap widening, what, what are the consequences? I think, first of all, we have to stop the fresh supply for our unemployment systems. Because if I take a look at our German schools, each year um, approximately 50,000 young people are leaving school mm -hmm. without any school graduates. And these uh, quite often become the unemployed persons of tomorrow. Is, is that the only solution? I mean, um, w what else can be done? This is the land of ideas. Yeah, I, I mean, we have several ways uh, uh, to improve uh, the uh, supply for skilled people, mm -hmm. like expanding, for example, working hours for people working part time or management, managing uh, migration to Germany, uh, especially uh, skilled people. and. Maybe we should start um, to uh, decrease the number of people leaving school without any qualification or uh, people uh, abandoning um, their um, vocational training position, students abandoning their studies. And for example, last not least, um, we should go ahead and, and provide more opportunities, um, especially for low-skilled workers, uh, to participate in further vocational trainings. Okay, Mr. Andresen, thank you very much for your insight.